Hi guys, welcome to Tutorial Race and in this video you are going to uh, see how we will create this view page. In the last video we have created the ad, ad page and uh, after entering the data, the data is what each inserting into MySQL database. So this time we are going to work on this view page so that the data entered we can display into the page page of uh, React.js. So basically this is the code uh, where we will do this select start from students and then there is multiple this uh, query and after that we will take one by one and let element D we will return the database. So let's work with the practical thing. So this is our folder and we have already created here Uh, the file name is list.php so just click on this open and here is the query select start from the students and then this is query uh, result and then mysql fetch it as well so here the data will be stored here so there will be id as id so it's better if i name it as id and then sorry first name okay give it as it is okay so the query will be generated here and then json and code okay the array json decode converts the json uh, data from JSON data to PHP array and JSON and code convert the array into JSON code. So at the end, we will receive this JSON data because we need uh, JSON data into our React application. So now let's get back to here to view page. And we will be working here into view page and we will fetch the data display here and this is the complete code of our v page so first we have created here constructor and this parameter is a props and then we have created the state as a blank array first then uh, component did mount and then axios here so for that and we will through this axios we will fetch the data from our REST API PHP file. So for that we need to include this one also once again in this file. So let's go to here and so before so the error is gone. Okay. So data will be fetched and the response will come and the response will be stored here into the student's object. And the same one we will uh, display okay and then here user list okay so state dot students dot map and object key value pair will it will be mapped and return this uh, record records list so we will create this in a separate uh, js file and then render here so here is users list and table plus the margin, first name, last name, and at the end, this user's list will be served here. So let's create this uh, record list in a separate JS file. So see components. JS. Okay, so created a file called record list.js. And inside here we created a class called record list extends company. Then inside that uh, props.obj f name, l name, and email. We are uh, retrading the data from here. So the whole this class is called here into view 
here. So you need to record list. Let me say right record list here. So this file we need to import here. Import record list. So we need to import this one. Record list and then record list. So error is also gone. So once again, what did we do? We created the class view and inside that is the constructor and initial value of this students will be blank. Okay. The data will be fresh from this list.php. So let's see what is inside list.php. If you check here, there is some totally defined. Second. Okay, so somewhere there was a mistake here. The same this user list will be here also. This user list. So let's check. Okay, so you can see the list here. Rajesh Kumar and Rajesh Yatra Gmail then edit and delete. So this is this is our list. So let's create one more record. See Kumar then dot com. So Okay, now check your view. So you can see the view is also working perfectly. So, okay, so let's have a look once again in this code. So first we created this component called view then inside that constructor and initial value is uh, blank, okay? And then here, uh, component did mount. Uh, then through this library, XCOS library, we are paging the data, JSON data. So, which data? Let's see here. This is the JSON data, okay? Which we are fetching through Axios's library into our ReactJS application. And the data is returned from this response to data then the same data we store here in this object and set state look here the initial state was blank now this student's state contains all the data fast from php file from this one so now this student contains all their records in json format if there is any error then it will display this error now we created a function this is user defined function we created a function where return this dot state dot students map so here it will be mapped as key value so this is key and value sorry this is object and this is key so here return the call list obj then object key it is wrapping here so now this record list actually we created here right the call list so now props obj dot first name last name we fill the data here then this is our html file so we iterated that user's list here repeated so this is how this is working this view file so that's it in this video in this view so in the next video i will display you that how we can delete and how we can edit the record so thanks for watching stay connected